If couples are unable to live with one another peacefully, amicable divorce is permitted as a last resort. Mothers are given priority in the custody of young children. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, treat women well and be kind to them, they are your partners and committed helpers. And we have enjoined upon man to be good to his parents. With difficulty upon difficulty did his mother bear him and wean him for two years. Show gratitude to me and to your parents, to me is your final goal. Quran 31, 14. Motherhood. Mothers are accorded a special place of honor and respect in Islam. A man once came to Prophet Muhammad and asked, O Messenger of God, who among the people is the most worthy of my good companionship? The Prophet replied, Your mother. The man then asked, Who next? The Prophet replied, Your mother, again. The man repeated the question a third time and got the same answer. The man asked once again, Who's next? Only then did the Prophet, peace be upon him, reply, Your father. This and other references in the Quran and incidents from the life of the Prophet clearly indicate the elevated status Islam has given mothers. A Muslim sees a mother as an icon of strength and courage tempered with compassion, kindness and love. Women's dress and modesty. Muslim women dress in a way that is modest and dignified. The purpose of clothing is not only to protect oneself from the physical elements but also to protect from immorality and pride. The Islamic concept of dress applies to both women and men. It sets expectations of moral and respectful interactions between the genders. As a result, both men and women are liberated from the baser instincts and can focus on higher pursuits. Islamic dress takes on many beautiful forms, reflecting the cultural diversity of Muslims from all over the world. How does Islam protect women from violence? Islam means to attain peace, achieved when a person focuses on God, giving her entire mind, heart and soul to none other than the Creator. This liberates her from human subjugation, replacing fear with self-respect, weakness with strength, and conflict with tranquility. God says in the Quran, do not fear human beings, but be in awe of me. Quran 544. Islam strongly prohibits oppression or cruelty to any individual, group or living thing in the universe. God enjoins good conduct toward women from birth to death. Verbal, psychological, emotional, sexual, and physical violence are forbidden, as are false allegations against women's chastity and honor. Men are further reminded, do not harass women as to make their lives miserable. Quran 65, 6. Prophet Muhammad said, only an honorable man treats women with honor and integrity. And only a mean, deceitful and dishonest man humiliates and insults women. Referring to physical abuse, he added, never hit your wives, they are your partners and sincere helpers. He exemplified this by never, ever, hitting a woman or child. The Prophet guaranteed protection of the life, honor and property of women. And why should you not fight in the cause of God and on behalf of those, who being weak, are ill-treated and oppressed, men, women and children whose cry is, Our Lord. Rescue us from these oppressors, and raise for us, from you, one who will protect and help. Quran 4, 75. What do Muslims think about Mary, the mother of Jesus? Muslims respect and admire Mary. Mary, the mother of Prophet Jesus, may the peace and blessings of God be upon them both, is the only woman after whom a chapter of the Quran is named. She was the ideal of womanhood, a pillar of strength and courage, knowledgeable and wise, compassionate and kind. Mary came from the family of Imran, a descendant of Aaron, the brother of Moses. She grew up in the care of her uncle, Prophet Zechariah, a priest in the temple, and the father of John the Baptist. God speaks of Mary in the Quran in the most noble of terms. The angel said, O oh Mary, God has chosen you and purified you, and chosen you above the women of all nations. O oh Mary, God gives you good news of a word from him, whose name is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, honored in this world and in the hereafter, and one of those brought near to God. He shall speak to people in infancy and in old age, and shall be of the righteous. She said, O oh my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? He said, Even so God creates what he wills. When he decrees a thing, he says to it, Be. And it is. Quran 3 42, 45-7. The Quran further tells of Mary. So she conceived him, and she retired with him to a remote place. And the pains of childbirth drove her to the trunk of a palm tree. She cried, Ah, would that I have died before this. Would that I had been a thing forgotten and out of sight. He cried to her from beneath her, Do not grieve. For your Lord has provided a stream beneath you. And shake toward yourself the trunk of the palm. It will let fresh dates fall upon you. 
so eat and drink, and cool your eye. And if you see any man, say, I have bowed a fast to the source of all mercy and this day will I enter into no talk with any human being. At length she brought the baby to her people, carrying him. They said, O oh Mary, truly an illegitimate thing have you brought. O oh sister of Aaron, your father was not a man of evil nor your mother a woman unchaste. But she pointed to the baby. They said, How can we talk to one who is a child in the cradle? He, the baby Jesus, said, I am indeed a servant of God. He has given me the book and made me a prophet, and he has made me blessed wherever I be, and has enjoined on me prayer and charity as long as I live. He has made me immensely kind to my mother and not overbearing nor miserable, and peace be on me, the day I was born.